those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Growler. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We love you, Growler. Thank you for your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. What the fuck? I'm 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 still looking for our new follower here, but as I was in the process, that's all you Riften people are. I saw. What do you want? You have no business being in here. This terrible woman. What the fuck is wrong with her? My parents dropped me off here a year ago, but they're coming back to get me. Oh, Aventus Arotino? He was sent here when his mother died, but he ran away. I heard he went back to his house in Windhelm, and he's trying to get the Dark Brotherhood to come and murder Greller. That would be so wonderful. What? What? There's I'm so much. Time. Come to get your... Greller ain't gonna like some stri... Aventus Arotino... Before he left... What he is... Said, Why are... Aventus? Aventus? That's another quest line that we have that we haven't really looked into yet, and so much is happening. I'm still just looking for... You really shouldn't be here. Is she always like that? Yes. I know it was. Even the townsfolk are taking to calling her Grelod the Cust. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. What? These children need love and comfort. I try. But I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. Oh, okay. I feel like we're gonna be back here once we start the Dark Brotherhood I'm quest sorry, line. Children aren't up for adoption right now. So we'll we'll she talk knows. we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Okay, okay. Anyways, what's good, YouTube? Nappy One Eighty Two here, back again once again. Take people say we're here for episode number one twenty five of our Skyrim Let's Play, day number forty six of our hundred days of Skyrim. Uh, last episode we began our quest for a new follower who's supposed to be somewhere around here in Riften, and. In between episodes, I was trying, quote unquote, trying to just go around and explore a few different places and find him, and uh, we happen to run into that little debacle right there. But what I'm going to do right now, before we begin, before we begin, is I'm just going to flat out say, where is Mercurio in Skyrim? Look, I'm not the only person that's Googled it. I'm going to Google it right now. I'm going to Google it right now. It says Mercurio is an Imperial spellcaster residing in the B and Barb in Riften. What? We went in there. That's where I thought he would be. Why? 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 We went in there, and did did you guys see him? Because I sure as hell didn't see him. We went in there last episode, and he wasn't there. Are you feeling sick? Because that's uh, the reason that I wanted to go into the B and Barb in last episode is when we got Randy, he was at the that the the pub in what you call it in solitude. You're a stranger here too, huh? If your allegiance lies with the Empire, visitors like us are rare in this part of Skyrim. Safe travel. Where is he? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message. Is this him? <gasps> we walked right past him. Fortunately for you. Why hire a common soldier? We walked past him in the last episode. Yo, I'm just saying that is some silly shit that I would fucking do, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I feel dumb as hell. Dumb as a fucking box of rocks, okay? I already know I got cooked. I got roasted in the last episode, okay? I, I apologize for being the dumbass that I am. I am so stupid. I walked in and walked right past him. What the fuck? All right, bro. Master of Magic at your side. You'll have nothing to fear. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hmm? Let's go ahead and uh I am an apprentice wizard, not a pack mule. Oh, very well, but make it quick. Okay, we're gonna we're not we're not gonna be best of friends. This is how you're gonna act, okay? This is how you're gonna act. We're gonna we're gonna have some problems, okay? We're gonna have some problems. We're gonna have some problems. I'm gonna give you uh, that. Yeah, put them on. 
I'm gonna give you this as well. There you go, put that on. I'm gonna give you that. Yes, you're looking like a real warrior. Put that on as well. Put that on as well. Put that on as well. Conjuring. Why you wanna why you wanna wear that? Like that does so much more for you. I don't think he's a conjurer. He honestly doesn't need this shit. I'm gonna take that from him. You keep that helmet on, bruh. You keep it on for now. Again, I'll enchant some shit for him like I was gonna do for Nene. So it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay for now. And then, uh, I guess... I can give you this for what it's worth. You know, have a staff as well, bruh. Alright. So we're back in business. We have a new follower, Mercurio. Okay. Okay, I can get used to we we gotta get used to Mercurio real quick. Gotta get used to him. So we got a new follower. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. You are follower number five, I think. Because we had no, you're follower number six. Because we had Sven. Then we had Gertie. Then Lydia. Then Randy. Then Jazargo. Then Aranea. And now Mercurio, you're following number seven, bruh. You were following number seven. Five of them have died. One is still alive. Makes me sad. It really, really makes me sad. All right. Anyways, let's figure out what we're gonna be doing next. We do need to get some. I could just do this shit right here. I received a note from a man named Eltris and Markarth. He wants me to meet him at the Shrine of Talos. We need to talk about the recent murder in Markarth's marketplace. We could do that shit right now since it's here. I also want to get some Falmer and some High Elf blood. Recover your equipment. I don't know. Stop. 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 I picked up another quest line from the um, the Riften like mage or whatever in the in the Jarl's place. So we don't actually have a location for this. We just need to get Falmer blood. So you know what I think I'm gonna do for right now. Let's go to Off Tend and see if we can't figure out if there's anywhere, if there's anywhere, anywhere, anywhere over here. That we can go to that spider place. If there's any entrance to that spider place. Mercurio, you are in for one hell of an adventure, buddy. You're in for one hell of an adventure. Is that a wolf over there? Are those wolves that I see? Are those wolves that I see, bruh? We're back over here at Alftan, where we've been fucking around with for a while now. I just wanna I just wanna run over here. It's my curiosity. I'm probably gonna die from it one day. There's a lighthouse. Why is there a lighthouse? Catch that work, bro. Oh shit! Ice wolf resisted dragon. Man. Yeah, you better fucking run, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get uh, unrelenting force. Since they're not rending, is there is there a wolf rend that we can use? Okay, my my curio, you're gonna have to move a, a bit quicker, buddy. I know I dropped down. Is it because he's got the heavy armor on? He moves slower, probably. Probably, probably. I feel like we're like resetting things now. Yo, what the hell is this lighthouse? I feel like we're like we're resetting. We're starting a whole new chapter all over again because Nene died. I feel so bad. I want to stop killing followers. I really need to stop killing followers. I feel bad about it. Frost flow lighthouse discovered. And there's a dead horse outside. Why is there a dead horse outside the Frost Flow Lighthouse? Hello? Yeah, potatoes. What's what's going on in the Frost Flow Lighthouse? Bruh, open. Bruh. wasn't even the door. How the hell do you get in? Oh. I was about to say, I thought that was the door. It seemed odd for a second that it just unlocked like that easy peasy. But okay. I still feel bad about Nene. I really... Oh my god. Uh. Why are these two doors have master and expert locks on them? Would it be foolish to stop for a while and light a fire? I suppose it would. 
Yes, it would. There are murders here that we need to explore. There's, is that a Karis body? Ramadi. That's Falmer. Hobbs Journal. Okay, I don't know what the hell we just walked in on. After years of sailing from Hammerfall to Solstheim and back, Ramadi and I have finally saved enough money to buy that old lighthouse we spotted on the coast and we are moving in next month. These Nords really know how to live. It may be cold, but you can't beat the tranquility of watching icebergs to live out your silver years. Ramadi loves the place, too, despite the occasional leaky ceiling. Manny and Sodi unfortunately seem miserable here. I know the kids are old enough to strike out on their own, but I hope they'll grow to love the place. The the peace and quiet here as I have. Monty and Sudi continue to bicker and harass each other, and they seem to have started in on their mother as well. Ramadi keeps finding things missing from the cellar. Sudi said she heard a noise down there, but Monty just thinks their mother is going mad from isolation. The very thought of it is ridiculous. She always wanted to retire here. Sudi keeps saying she hears scratching coming from the cellar at night. I think she's just trying to get her mother's goat. But I better head into town to get a few traps just in case it's skeevers. Should only take a couple days. I just hope these two go easy on Ramadi while I'm gone. Oh gods, oh gods, why? I returned home to find my beautiful Ramadi killed, and this thing, this horrible bug-like creature ransacking our home. I managed to kill the damn thing. I think it might be a Deidre. I've never seen anything like it. Oh gods, poor Ramadi. It must have come out of the cellar. I'm going down there and locking the door behind me to make sure they don't escape. I don't know if they make it out, if I'll make it up, but I have to save my family. Hobbed. Damn, you stripped her naked after you found her. Okay. Alright. I feel like I can hear other one scurrying around. Nope, we're not taking food. So this is a car is down there. And that's what killed your wife? What about your kids? Or are the kids down there and that's what you went after to save? Sudi's journal. I hate it here. Why do we have to move to Skyrim anyway? I miss the big port cities. There was always something to do with new people around, or even being cabin girl on one ship we used to sail would be better than this. Cabin girl? Is that like a prostitute? Manny says we should run away, but I can't leave mother and father alone out of here. What to do? We've been here for two months now, and there's nothing to do. From the top of the lighthouse, we can see all the way to the college at Winterhold, but father says the magic is for Deidre worshippers. Damn. Ah, uh, maybe I should kill him once I find him, stupid bitch. The only interesting thing to have happened lately is that Mother snapped at us at dinner and accused of us of stealing things out of the cellar. I did hear scratching down there the other night, but I thought it was just Father cleaning fish. I caught Monty in the cellar a couple days ago going through some of the barrels and crates. At first I thought it was him all along making those scratches to play a trick on me, but I heard them again last night and Monty was in bed. Father finally said he would go get some traps and poison from town in case it's skeevers. I'm really scared. It doesn't sound like skeevers to me. Manny won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keeps sneaking into the cellar. Oh, why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there, but I found the cellar key he copped. He copped. He copied and hid it in Mother's favorite keepsake so he won't find it. The scratching is getting louder. What have we gotten ourselves into? Is there a coin purse under the bed? Yes, they won't be doing that. Amethyst, another coin purse. Purple mountain flower. So there's a boy and a girl. But that scratching's honestly trying to find Red Eagle's sword. Legend of Red Eagle. I'll take it. Fuck it. I thought we already had that quest. So we found that book already. Huh. You got nope, not taking food. Manny's letter. What is Manny's letter about? Letter, letter, Hammerfell garb. I don't know if that's special or not, or unique, I should say. Okay, so let's see what Manny has to say about what happened here. Sudi, I know you've been making up that stuff about the noise in the basement to try and get me to stay, but I'm only waiting till father gets home so you and mother are safe. You could always come meet up with me before I head back to Hammerfell. Take care of your little sister, Manny. Huh. I'm guessing Hammerfell is not a part of Skyrim since they moved here. You know, I said I wasn't going to do this, and now I'm doing it. I have to stop. Deidre and Deidre, Trials of St. Alicia. This whole family got butchered in here. Potion to resist cold. I guess that would work for here. 
It's the parents room, I'm guessing. Ramadi's journal. We finally did it. We bought the lighthouse. I thought Hobd was just making idle promises all these years. What husband doesn't want to promise their wife the two moons from the sky? The two moons from the sky. But I didn't think we actually managed to get it. Now if I could only find where we put everything. I can't find my favorite cooking pot and it's slightly infuriating. Sudi and Mani seem unhappy, but they're still young and don't seem to understand that we just want to spend a few more years with them before they leave us to see the world. I know they think their father will live forever, but I see his age creeping into his eyes. He made me promise again that when he died, I would put his bones in the lighthouse fire so he could look out at the ocean forever. All those who get me sometimes, get to me sometimes. I went to unpack some of our keepsakes from the trading ships we used to sail, but I can't find them. Sudi keeps saying she's hearing something in the basement at night, and Miney suggested it was skeevers. They know I hate skeevers. Now I'm too scared to go down there at all. I'm glad I unpacked my favorite urn and put it safely on the mantle before those two started causing mischief. If they put a skeever in the basement, I swear. I actually feel kind of bad for this family. I really kind of do feel bad for this family. Man, what the fuck keeps scratching in the basement? Torch bug in a jar. Don't mind if I do. Manny cellar key. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I can hear that scratching in the basement. Why would you stay here? After hearing all that, why would you stay here? this open? No, it doesn't. What's inside the wooden door? It has an expert lock to get at. Bruh, expert my ass crack. Okay, so that goes up to the top. Okay, so before we head to the cellar, let's go up top. And see what we find. I was gonna say, what the fuck? How do I get up? <laughs> so we have the the actual lighthouse itself. I'm like, chest requires key. I feel like homeboy, who's down in the basement, will have the key. So we have to go back down there, find him, and then come back up here and get whatever goods are there. Okay, so we kind of accidentally walked into Frostfell Lighthouse here. And niggas is dead. Niggas is dead. Niggas is dead. Niggas is dead. So, uh, blood. More blood. Lots of blood. Okay. Blood, 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 blood. Look at all the blood. In times like this, I truly appreciate the joys of a warm fire and a stiff drink. Okay, if you're gonna say things like that, you're really gonna end up pissing me off. Okay. They all really died to choruses? Bruh. No, don't you spit no gook on me, bitch. Fuck out of here with that. Oh, there's a passageway. That's how they got in. That's how they got in. But where is homeboy at? That's the real question. Where is homeboy with his dead body? And we haven't seen the kids yet either. Did the one run off to Hammerfell? I don't know. We just found the, the mother. Hmm. Those are bags. It's not a body. Alakir hood. I don't appreciate their, uh, their negative words. Give me the eggs. I don't appreciate their negative words regarding so much food down here oh my god there's so much food down here so much food that I'm gonna take I have to break myself of this frost flow abyss what are we getting ourselves into we just wanted to explore that spot where the spiders were at and now look at all this shit I mean it looked like there was a Falmer weapon <gasps> I was gonna say, it looked like there was a former weapon that was used to kill Homegirl. So, let me swap to this. Henry, save us! There you go, Henry. Do, do your work. You're actually in a frosty cavern now. Damn! 
that car has got bodied. If there's a farmer in there, then we about to get some farmer blood, bruh. We about to get some farmer blood, bruh. Yeah, there he is. There he be. Give me that. Vigorous Magicka. Oh, thank you. Oh, don't tell me that's him. Farmer sword. There ain't nothing special about it. Look at this fucking altar with just some regular ass sword. Alright. Let me get your blood, bruh. Alright, so all we need now is the high elf blood. You high elf? Manny. Oh, this is the sun. <gasps> no, the sun is dead. Okay, so we're just missing the dad and the little sister. Manny died. Wow. Man, he died. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Okay, well, that doesn't go anywhere. Never mind. We don't go that way, apparently. Let me, uh, switch over before we explore. Okay, so Manny is dead. The mother is dead. Can we, uh... Possibly run into any high elves while we're down here. No spitting. No spitting. No spitting. Get these ingredients. I'll take. Bread. Gimme, 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 gimme. You got any eggs on you? No, you got no eggs. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Got potions. Ooh, you all got a lot of shit. Find a chest full of gold in one of these chambers. I know, right, God I can hear something walking. I made fences with this shit? A farmer war axe. Car is a reaper. That's one of the big ones. Ugh. Ugh. Give me that. Okay. Uh, ha ha ha, I see. Nope, not today, bruh. You ain't getting me today, B. There's so much. Yo, we're gonna have so much shit to, to work with. Oh my god. Uh! Go ahead in there, bruh. Go ahead in there, bruh. Go ahead, Henry. Handle it. Handle it, B. Mm-mm. I'm not interested in any of that. There you go. I help you out. I help you out, bruh. Fuck them spiders up. Henry, do your thing, B. Do your thing. You got him, Henry? I just killed Henry. I'm sorry, Henry. I, 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 I really do apologize. I didn't mean to. Why are ears considered ingredients? Yo, this is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. And I want nothing to do with it. Bruh. Come on, Mercurio, get out the way, B. Hello, Orcish Armor of Eminent Illusion. Oh, this place is disgusting. Bruh. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. All of this is beneath the fucking lighthouse. Nah, bruh. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. God, you're right. It's a lucky ass hit. Okay, I want to summon uh, Frost Atronarch. I need Henry here to watch our back. Before we uh, start exploratizing, 
Now, how do you even put a lock on these things? How do you even put a lock on this shit? I was gonna say, can I see what's inside or, or not? I'm not gonna let me do that. Okay, hold up. Who is this? Sudi. Oh, it's the daughter. Bloodstained note. They took father. There had been some others they brought down, but they led them off, and all we heard were the screams, and now father has gone too. Oh, gods. Why didn't I listen to Mani? Father's fever was getting worse and kept and he and kept mumbling about Deidre. I don't know where he was hiding it, but I think I know why he left me this dagger. Scroll page. I don't know how long we've been down here. Father came down to find us, but those things captured him as well. I asked him if he'd seen Mother or Mani, but I don't know if he could even hear me. One of those big bugs hit me when he tried to get free, and now he's feverish. Wow. Okay, okay, Henry, 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 calm down. So we just need to find the father now. But I guess we're not allowed to move. Can I? Can I please get out? Look, there's someone over there. Go fight! Go fight them, Henry. Why? Why did you do this? Why did you walk up here? There we go. Can we? Divine smile on you, friend. No, no, no. Open the gate. Almost. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Uh, no, no, no. God damn it. There we go. Now everything's back to normal. We're good. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, you skank asshole. Just die, bruh. So all we're looking for now is father. So we found the two kids and the mother. Sure you can find your way? Listen, bro, you don't know me and all the exploration I've been doing. I was born for this shit. Oh, I feel bad for Henry. Henry, don't turn against me like that, buddy. I did it for the I did it for the, the, the good of us. I like how I attacked him and he turned against me. Like he actually turned against me. That explains why all those uh flame atronauts did the exact same that Nana used to spawn. She used to spawn flame astronauts, and I accidentally hit them, and they'd all just get mad and just start attacking me. And it's like, bruh, do you know what a mistake is? I'm sorry. I'm only human. I'm a man. I make mistakes. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make my mistakes. Yo, I love all these fucking. Oh, hello. There's a fucking little village up here. What y'all got going on up here? What y'all got going on up here? Really, bruh? I just want to find the dad. Like, we were just trying to get to, uh... The fucking spider place. I don't know why I'm so determined to get to the spider place. Oh, that's the farmer that I killed before. I don't know why I'm so determined to get there when, uh... I hate spiders so much. But you know what? I guess it's a good thing we came down here because we needed to get Falmer blood. We found the Falmer blood. Now all we need is high elf blood. And we can go back and complete that Daedra quest. Oh, it's a fucking shield. I don't need a goddamn shield. Get that out of my inventory. Get this out of my damn inventory. Drop. Fuck out of here, bruh. I got time for you. Okay, so that's the way we came up. So this is the way we keep going. Yeah. Oh god damn it! It's the other side of that fucking uh whatchamacallit. That wall that we saw. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Leave me be. I don't know how or to what extent this is going to take us. Why are there all these potions down here? Potions, po potions, potions, potion, and poison all next to each other. Hello, knock, knock. Is there uh, anybody home? Oh, God. 
Yo, you know what I want to try? You know what I want to try? Hold up. Let me see. All the flames. What's oh, expert? Oh, shit. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Hold on. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, I can. So all that does is just it just makes it just makes a fire. It just makes a fire like that. It's just wherever I use it at is where the fire is at. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many eggs down here. There's so many eggs down here. Why are there so many eggs? You know, when I was watching Mo play, I mentioned a while back, you guys, that I was watching Mo the Hitimo. You, know, you guys know Mo the Hitimo? I was watching him play. He ran into this, like, flying cars thing, and I've never seen it before. And a couple of you guys have been asking me to raise the difficulty in the game. And I feel like because he was playing on a harder difficulty, that's why he had, like, those increased mobs. I might raise the difficulty. I might. I might. I might. I might. I, might. I, I put the difficulty on what it was. Originally, just because yo, there's so many fucking eggs down here. I put the difficulty on what it was, whatever I decided to put it on, just so that, you know, I could just play through the game and just have fun and not worry about, like, dying time and time again. Because when it comes to a Let's Play, like, you don't want that. You don't want to sit there and watch somebody die a thousand times over. You know, I think we die enough in this game. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not going to collect all these eggs, but... My OCD tells me to. Bro, can you, like, actually fuck off? Like, actually fuck off. It's a good idea. Nasty asses. What is down here? Bruh. What is actually down here? Why does this place continue like this? And where is Mercurio at? I don't know where he's at and why he didn't follow us. Did I fuck up with that follower already? Where's our torch just chilling here? I don't fucking know. Uh... Uh, uh. Bre, bre. This tunnel is like never ending. I know we've gone well over our limit, or our limit, quote unquote. I try and keep Skyrim episodes to about thirty minutes, but I really want to figure out what's down here. Besides, you know, just this cars fucking village. All these damn cars are living at. I don't know why he's running from me. Ah, Woo! That actually scared the hell out of me. Well, I know why he's running from me because I'm whooping that ass. Obviously. Fuck out of here, bruh. Fuck out of here, bruh. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> this is like some Harry Potter shit. Oh, that's a Reaper. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought that was like something crazy big and special. We fought one of these in the Black Reach already. Get the fuck out of here. I have no qualms with you. It's the Reaper that I must attack and demolish. The Crushion. The Crushion. I'm reading two words at once now. Destruction increase. No, don't. Fuck away from me! Find the source of the murders in Frostflow Lighthouse. So is the Reaper. Bruh. Really? Really? Yeah, now you're about to die, so you want to back up. Fuck out of here, stupid asshole. I'm the motherfucking Archmage of the goddamn College of Motherfucking Winterhold, bitch. Hobbs remains. Wow. 
I have a skull in my inventory. Okay. There are a lot of eggs here. There are a lot of eggs here. There are a lot of eggs here. So I guess that's what happened to Hobbed. Damn. So do like the Falmer live to serve the fucking Chorus? Chorus Reaper. Again, when Mo was playing, I saw some car shit that was flying around. I feel like just because we're not playing on a harder difficulty. And the only reason I say that is because he went through like an area that I already been through. And I remember in our Let's Play, it was only like a, just a regular Chorus that was there. But on, when he went through, it was a fucking Chorus, whatever the fuck it was that was flying around. Glass Sword. I'll take it because why not? Iron Mat Mat Mace Mace of Sapping. Mass of Sapping. Oh my god. This is gonna put us out in Skyrim? Ooh. Oh, this is the. Oh shit. Mercurio is here. This is the area that we tried to get to originally. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this will take us right back up to the bottom of the lighthouse. Oh my god. We're gonna talk about some crazy ass shit. That's so unfortunate for this family. I feel bad. They moved out here in an attempt to like Crossbow Lighthouse is cleared. They moved up here. What the fuck? It's fucking traps for the skeevers. But anyways, they moved up here in an attempt to like uh retire and spend some years with their kids and ended up dying. That just sucks. All because of these fucking reapers. I mean, we got our Falmer blood, if that means anything. Ebony Helmet of Eminent Archery. Damn! That's a mouthful if I've ever seen one. Yo, can I can I raise that uh car reap that's down there? Jesus fuck. Is there a barrel out there yet to be discovered? We have done a lot in today's episode, to say the least. We didn't even get to our custom destination either. Yeah, there's definitely a barrel there. You can see it. I think right now is a good spot as I need to go and wrap up today's episode. Definitely, since uh, today's episode was a little bit longer than normal. But uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Skyrim, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. With that, I'm going to get up out. Thank y'all once again for your support. Thank you for checking out the video. You're going to meet you today, I'm out this bitch. Bye!